is your computer running slower than a geriatric in a hurricane? My guess is it probably is because you are searching for videos of this type. So I thought I'd attempt to show you how to keep your computer running smoothly from a fresh Windows install. Now the reason for this is that if you look on the computers and the internet section on Yahoo Answers, um, it's overrun by people asking how can they speed up their PC and wondering why their PC doesn't run quite as well as it did when they first bought it. Asking sort of what they can do to make it run better. Now quite commonly what happen what the sort of answers they get is people recommending they reinstall Windows, which is in my opinion the last resort. Uh, people recommend that they buy more RAM, um, better processor, well, you know, stuff that costs money. So I thought I'll show you what I do to get my keep my computer running smoothly from a fresh install um, for those that might be tempted to reinstall Windows. So what I'm using here is uh, Microsoft Virtual PC 2007 which allows you to install a, another operating system from within your current operating system. It's completely software based and it's isolated from your main operating system so if anything goes wrong you can just delete the virtual PC and no adverse effects will occur. Now I've created a virtual hard drive that is 100 gigabytes, uh, which will represent the average size of your middle of the road PC's hard drive, uh, just to show you what I do. So to start with, I'll take you through the first few options on this screen. The first one is to set up a Windows XP on the selected item, press enter most people I suspect will probably use that option there for speed's sake. I'm not saying there's anything necessarily wrong about that but you're, uh, you're missing the the joys of having separate partitions for separate jobs which is, I'm gonna, which is the whole point of this video to show you what that does. Now the second option is to create a partition in the unpartitioned space press C. Now that's what I'm going to do. So I'll press C and I'm going to create a 10 gigabyte partition. I'm going to create another partition in the unpartitioned space. I'm going to create that roughly 80 gigabytes. Got one other one there and don't worry about the 8 megabyte partition there. That is used by Windows to store the partitioning setup um, so you're not going to be able to use that at all which is quite a, kind of important anyway so just leave that as is. So you've got roughly 10 gigabytes left so create another partition now of 10 gigabytes. Yeah, so there we go. We've got three partitions on there. I'm going to use the first partition, the first 10 gigabyte partition there, to in actually install Windows onto. So, we'll format that quick. And I'll show you what I do with those partitions once Windows is actually installed. So, here we are in our freshly installed copy of Windows XP on this virtual machine. Now, of course, in your case it will be a completely fresh native Windows install, i.e. one that's installed to a physical hard drive and not, um, and not a virtual drive like this. But the principles I'm going to show you still remain. Now, I've already, re I've already renamed and formatted these two partitions here. I've also renamed the C drive to XP just to make it clear 
if I was having a dumb moment which one of the operating systems on although it's clear anyway because it's the C drive on here I've named it programs and this one I've named it downloads so it, it look it's becoming increasingly clear what I'm going to be doing with these partitions now that they are created and formatted now quickly I'll just show you what I'm going to do with these now you want to keep your Windows XP install as clean as possible as you can see here or you may or may not be able to see here um, I've used 3.47 gigabytes of 9.76 so I've got roughly 6.29 gigabytes left you want to keep that near as, near as damn it the same throughout the life of your Windows XP computing you want to keep it below half of the drive ideally as if you once you get towards like 75% of the uh, the partition used up you'll find the speed of the drive will start to slow oh yes it, it or by, or be, it is a partition whoops but it is a partition so it doesn't really reflect the entire drive but you want to keep that roughly roughly as it is all of your installed programs that means games applications mp3s wants to go in this 80 gigabyte partition we created during the setup process now if you've got a lot of mp3s I recommend a, a larger hard drive I'm on my main PC I'm using a 250 gigabyte hard drive and roughly 165 gigabytes also 160 170 gigabytes are actually used for programs and the third partition is for downloads anything that's transient anything that's only going to be there for a short amount of time have a 10 gigabyte partition for your downloads that includes drivers whatnot anything that you might need should anything go wrong you can reinstall Windows hopefully your driver downloads would still be in that partition until you maybe decide to move it into your program I don't know um, so you've always got your drivers there if, in case you need to reinstall again or you shouldn't do and um, well that's pretty much it as long as you're diligent as long as you're disciplined at making sure that you keep your C drive as clean as possible programs download uh, programs installed into that one there and all your downloads go into there then you should be able to prolong the life of your operating system get a decent virus scanner decent firewall don't rely on the uh, Microsoft one I don't trust it a lot of people don't trust it as millions of people don't trust it um, sorry Microsoft but it's uh, a load of crap and everything that you download because it goes into there virus sweep that and run a regular virus sweep on your C drive as well. In fact, you can include all three drives in your virus sweep as well, but, but do more virus sweeps than anything on the download there because you'll probably be using that more most more than any of the other drives if you spend your life on the internet like I do. So yeah, be disciplined. Keep this in mind and hopefully your computer will keep as smooth as mine. Thanks for watching.